I don't know how you feel, but um, I'm totally exhausted. And um, I want to introduce this panel sitting next to me, a wonderful, wonderful people, and everyone is distinguished in their own right. And to my left here is uh, Billy Joan. Uh, Mulrain, who runs one of the few sexual assault programs and sexual abuse programs for children uh, in New York City. And, uh, and it's a fun, of course, we know him well right now. And Tim Tom Wayne, who I think all of us know, who is um, has been outspoken for years about child sexual abuse and has been a leader um, you know, in introducing legislation and has some very strong opinions and we'll get to him first. And um, and you know, and also Bob yeah. and Bob Hedelman, who is chief of the child abuse unit in the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. Bob has been around for how many years doing this work? 10 or 11, very significant, and has an incredible history of doing the right thing in criminal justice, and we are so glad that you are here. And Karen Baker, who um, many of us just know your name, Karen, but we are so happy you're here from the Pennsylvania Coalition Against uh, Sexual Assault. And she is also the director of the National Sexual Violence Resource Center, and we looking around, I know that we get lots and lots of information, emails from your center, and it is great that you were able to make this. Thank you. <laughs> what we will do is we will have, I'm going to ask everybody to speak for just five to seven minutes mm -hmm. in response to some questions, and we do want to give you all time for your questions, and we'll just feel them, you know, with the panel, okay? Um, and Senator Joy, I'm going to start with you. We know um, you have been very honest about your own personal history and how much that has influenced your work in the Senate. And you have um, not only introduced legislation, but you've been a, a very, very strong, outspoken advocate for victims. And um, thinking about institutional abuse, which is what this theme is tonight, um, and the institutions that we have in our society that should be protecting us, actually abusing us. Um, do you have, uh, I'm just going to throw it out to you in terms of what your thoughts are about this. I think that it will never, ever work to let institutions police themselves. Mm -hmm. it, it has never worked, it will never work. And we have to turn prosecution over to law enforcement. And while there are other strategies to prevent abuse, although I don't think it'll be, I think it'll be very difficult to completely eliminate abuse, though I wish that were the case, I do think that um, there are deterrent uh, measures that can and must be taken, and they need to be rather severe, and uh, even more so towards institutions because the cover-up should be uh, punished severely. And one of the most important things for people who have been victimized is confirmation of what has actually happened. And so to force an institution to open up their records so that victims can get confirmation, uh, in my mind, is the most important thing. So uh, I, I do want to just add one thing you know, there is the fear, for instance, of religious institutions that uh, uh, 
the issue that they go bankrupt is raised often, but they go bankrupt to avoid not just payouts, but to avoid uh, giving documents that would uh, confirm what has happened. So it's not the lawsuits that cause the bankruptcy, it's the bankruptcy that helps the institution to avoid telling the truth. Is there any legislation that you can think of that would be a remedy? 